Alright, hey YouTube. Um, hmm. Post this video. Okay, my friend, his uncle gave me this knife. Uh, I think somebody, I'm not going to say their names for privacy. But I'm pretty sure somebody made out of an old file. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody they know, I think he made it out of an old file. Got a shallow hollow grind on it. Real, real shallow. But it's so thick that that turns to a dull blade. But dull edge. But I'll convex this grind mostly. Got a mostly a mirror convex on there. I uh, need to shallow my convex and up a lot for this thing. But it's fairly sharp. It ain't going to do no real damage though. I'm going to use this as a bushcraft knife. Perfect bushcraft nice, but yeah, I'm running up through my talking points and let you know what let you know how it stands up here. POU size weight, POU I'd use this as outdoors knife, basically, that's it. Small or medium size outdoors knife for carving task. Okay, I forgot to on my Gurkha Cooper video, I forgot to show the balance point of it, but balance point on this thing's right about there. I'm going to that finger choil. Okay. And that means you could choke up on it. Real fine carbon. Okay, the size on this thing. I'm not exactly sure how big this blade is. Let me compare it to my Gurkha Cooper here. Hold on. That my Gurkha Cooper. So, I'd guesstimate since my Gurkha Cooper is a 6 inch blade, I'd guesstimate a half, 4, 3 and a quarter, 4 inch blade, or 3 and a half, 3 and a quarter, somewhere around there, around that size. This thing up and review ain't on this. I got a review on this, so look at that. If you want to see this thing okay anyway uh, size weight uh, this weight on this thing I'm not exactly sure how my Gurkha Cooper runs in uh, it's pretty, pretty good heavier than, than this this and about half a weight half a pound to a pound Sorry, I can't tell you that, but yeah, I'd have to get a small scale. Uh, steel and blade shape. Blade shape's kind of a drop point. Mm, steel on it. I'm fairly sure this is either an old file. If he made it, it was probably an old file. Or, since it hasn't rusted yet, I would assume it may be... Could be a Chinese made knife, which would make it probably around a 420 steel. If it doesn't rust, that's what I'm going to assume. 420 series steel. That may be why it can't keep an edge or can't put on an edge to it. But I'm not sure yet. Time will tell. My friend gave me this for Christmas. Uh, speed. Uh, this ain't the fastest in your hand, just being how heavy it is. and It's balanced well, but yeah, I'd use this more of a kitchen knife than any. Any speed, either kitchen or outdoors knife, but <laughs> yeah. So hmm. speed on it wouldn't be too great for defensive, but yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, lock up strength doesn't have any lock up, of course, but hmm. There's a little gap in it. Right there. Can't see it. Let's see if I can make it. Not yeah, that little gap there. Okay. Anyway, um, so that could maybe be a concern if it's a Chinese produced knife or whatever, but I don't think it is. Pakistani, somewhat somewhere along the lines, Japanese. Uh, anyway. Hmm. Hand, hand materials. I'm pretty sure this is inlay or interlaid micarta. Uh, just basically glued together and sanded down. 
the reason I really don't think this is a mass-produced knife or anything along the lines overseas produced if it is it's really good quality because this is just super smooth everything's just super smooth on it bottom here is super smooth it may could it could be that could be the full tang of it could full tang all the way down cat rubbing up against my door again anyway this is probably the biggest place here and it's barely you can even barely notice it anyway yeah next <laughs> ergonomics I love this finger toil here ergonomics for choking up for fine wilderness tasks it's jumping here and it's not too grippy you can tell somebody added that on but yeah, it's really nice to carve card pencil or a card pencils, but you know, sharpen them up good with this. Man, look just like out of a pencil sharpener. Clip design, no clip. Hold on, let me get my cat. Did it again. No clip, so anyway. Yeah. Durability. But on some wood with this, some oak. It's. As far as I can tell, very durable. Nothing's really went wrong with this knife. And it's built like a tank, honestly. Real big and good and bulky for wilderness tasks. Uh, value. Being I got this thing as a gift, I can't really tell you the value of it. I think it's a real nice value, as with most knives. Especially if it's handmade, whatever. Uh, cool factor. As a bushcraft knife. It'd be cool in that aspect, but that's about it. Mm. People see it's a hunter if you carried it around. I carry it around sometimes, country boy. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Cat on the door. But, yeah. That's about it, guys. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, after a sharp, I'll probably show a video of me trying to sharpen this thing up. And not to worry, they'll do a sharpness test and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.